Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this vlog, I'll be sharing with you my plastic surgery experience once more. If you have been watching my previous vlogs, you'll know that this is not my first surgery. I did no surgery in 2018 and now on February 2019, I will be doing a nose revision at the same place which is JW Clinic in Seoul, South Korea. What's special now is that my boyfriend will also be getting something done together with me, so it'll be like a plastic surgery experience. Anyway, without further ado, let's start the vlog. So here we are at the hotel in Gangnam area. Oh, and I'd like to mention that in this surgery trip, just like before, I am accompanied by Beauty Korea, a government licensed medical agency from South Korea. And basically what they do is to guide anyone who wants to do surgery in South Korea, but doesn't know where to start. I used their service a year ago to help me select the best clinic and hotel. They also take care of my transportation from and to the clinic, even provide a van to pick me up from the airport. On top of that, their service is absolutely free, so no reason not to have them again. Here I am giving you a little hotel room tour. Right after checking in, me and Daniel went straight to the clinic to have our consultation. A fancy limousine taxi is waiting to take us to the clinic, thanks to Beauty Korea. Anyway, on this day, it's not just Daniel's consultation day, it's also his surgery day as well. So Daniel is going to get an eyelid surgery to fix the unbalancedness in his eyes. Yay, here's Claire and Nana from Beauty Korea! Hey guys, so we have arrived! I'm back with Nana and Claire! <laughs> so today's a special day, it's consultation day for me and Daniel and it's gonna be Daniel's surgery day as well. So yeah, if you're using Beauty Korea service, they'll go with you on your consultation and surgery day. They'll even set your appointments and help interpret what the doctors say. Very good if you don't know the language, right? Sometimes clinic already has their own interpreter, but it's good to prepare. So before the consultation and surgery, Daniel needed to fill out some medical forms. Next, with the help of the clinic staff, he took some before photos. Yay, it's my turn for the consultation. So this time I'll be getting a nose revision because I want the nose tip to be a little bit pointier than before. It is suggested to prepare some photos to explain to the doctor what you want. Communication is very important on the consultation day. Best be prepared. Now it's Daniel's consultation. So Daniel's eyelid is unbalanced and it gives him a lazy eye effect. So the doctor explained that the muscle in the unbalanced eyelid needs to be corrected and it'll balance his lids and improve his looks. The name of the surgery Daniel is getting is an incision ptosis correction. So now I'm doing another consultation because my first doctor handles my nose and the doctor that handles Daniel's eyes will also be handling my face graft. 
Yes, I'll be getting a face graft and also neck liposuction and an elasticum neck thread lifting. Basically, the face graft is to improve my face profile. My own fat cells will be injected to my forehead and cheeks, while the elasticum and lipo on the neck is to get rid of my double chin. Daniel's going to get his eyelid surgery now, so we'll be moving to the surgery room. So we are provided a waiting room to put all his belongings and change to surgery attire, and while getting his surgery, I will be waiting at that room. Bye, boy fee. Good luck. About two hours later, he finished his surgery and a rest for a bit before heading back to the hotel. While he is resting, the nurse explained to us the medication Daniel needs to take for the next couple of days. He still feels a little bit sleepy due to the local anesthesia. Anyway, we said goodbye to Claire from Beauty Korea and Jay from the clinic before heading back to the hotel. I asked Daniel if he is in pain or not and he explained from a scale of 1 to 10, it's just 1 or 2. Okay, now he is going to show you how he will be using his meds. First, he'll be washing his eyeballs with this eye solution. Hi. Next, he'll be using eye drop number one. Next comes the meds he needs to drink three times a day. Then he'll be applying this ointment to where the incision is made on his lids. It is suggested to apply the ointment with a Q-tip. Finally, it's eye drop number two. Four days later, we went to the clinic again to remove his stitches.
This time, Nana from Beauty Korea is here to accompany us. Oh, and our friend Doubt also came. Thanks for the vlog assist, Doubt. So here is the stitch removal process. This part might sting a little bit depending on your pain tolerance, but it's not super painful, just a little bit uncomfortable. As for Daniel, he said it's not really painful at all. After the stitch removal process is done, he undergoes some light treatment to help with the deswelling. Five days after surgery, the swelling has gone down pretty well. Next episode will be my surgery day. Stay tuned for that. See you on the next one. Bye!